Whoa, hey, I didn't see you there. I'm just up here in space chilling next to my favorite satellite Think about geography. Hey, why don't you pull up a space chair and I'll tell you about old Bessie back there. In this video, we're going to talk about the geographer's tools. So, the big idea here is that geographers use many tools to study the world. And like a lot of jobs, geographers like to use a variety of tools to look at and study the world. It's like how a chef needs to use a bunch of different utensils to cook a meal. Or like how in Minecraft you got a bunch of different tools for hitting blocks. Or for hitting your enemies. The first tools we're going to look at are maps and globes. A map is a flat drawing that shows off all or a part of the Earth's surface. They're great because they're really easy to carry, and I mean, honestly, you probably have one in your pocket pretty much at all times. Now, there is one big issue with having a big flat map, and that's this. The Earth is round! And that brings us to our next tool, globes. Globes are spherical or ball-shaped models of the entire planet. The big advantage here for using a globe is that you get a way more accurate representation of how the world actually looks. And in some globes, you can actually see and feel the details, like different shapes of mountains and how the ground looks. Now, unfortunately, since uh, I am a teacher, I don't have access to a globe at my house, so all I have is this beach ball that is kind of like a globe. You could probably say that I'm balling on a budget. So in what situation would you want to use each of these things? Well, you can use a map for pretty much any instance that you would want to look at a small part of the world, also known as a region if you remember back to that one module I talked about. And maps can also tend to show way more information. And they're of course way cheaper to make, and you can carry them around a lot easier. Now you'd want to use a globe in pretty specific situations. Which areas of the world have more mountainous areas? Or what the Earth might look like from space? Or if you're like real bored in class and you want to spin the globe really fast and then randomly stop it to find out where you're going to live in the future. Well, it looks like I'm going to live in Croatia in the future. Next up is the Global Positioning System, also known as the GPS. And the GPS is a tool that uses satellites to transmit locations on objects from Earth. Basically, the GPS takes your exact location on Earth, sends it up into space to a satellite where it talks to 24 other satellites in the world, and then it tells you how to get somewhere, and then it shoots it right back over to where you were on the planet. In short, it's like Google Maps. It takes you to Popeyes or Urban Air or whatever uh, kids like to go to right now. No judgment. I like me some Popeyes. There's a whole lot of other tools that geographers like to use to show data, from charts, to graphs, to databases, to models, there's a lot. So they need to use these tools to gather their data about the region that they study. So what do they do with all that data? They make big collections of data, hoarding them away like dragons in what we would call a database. And the database can range from just a simple Google Doc to a whole bunch of filing cabinets filled with secrets. If geographers want to share their database with other geographers, they make what is called a Geographic Information System, or a GIS. If you want a real simple example of a GIS, think about trying to find a place to eat in a new city that you've never been to. Yes, you could just go to McDonald's, you could go to Burger King or Buffalo Wild Wings, whatever garbage place you want to go to, but you want to eat somewhere local. So, more than likely, you're going to be using Google, which gives you loads of different information, like uh, where the best restaurant is, where the restaurant is located, what's going to be on the menu, or why Karen doesn't really like the food there. In today's lesson, we learned that geographers use many tools to study the world, and next time we're going to learn how maps work, and I'm going to stick to the same format in my videos. Until then, please. Wash your hands and wear a mask. Happy painting and God bless my friend.